Hey, Coach. Uh, uh, Coach Stefanski told us today he's calling the plays. And, you know, just wondering, you've been around a, a lot of coaches, uh, how well you think he's equipped for that, to, you know, being a first-year head coach and handling the play calling uh, for the offense. Well, I think it's great. No one knows exactly uh, how a man thinks better than that guy. And uh, I'm sure he's been waiting for the opportunity to do this. He has it. He know how he wants to see the game played out. And I think it's a great thing. And he said, you know, he'll be calling them, but it'll also be collaborative. Is that how you guys on the offensive staff view it? Well, I think a game plan is put, put uh, together by uh, all the coaches for the most part during the week. So it's always collaborative. Uh, and now he gets the opportunity to, to make it shine. All right, we're gonna go with Scott. Hey Stump, Hi, what, Scott. Did you, what did it mean to you that Kareem got that extension the other day? Well, I guess it, it relaxes Kareem. So that's that's a big thing. We want these guys to be able to go out and uh, play to the best of their ability. It means he's gonna be around here for a while. And now the uh, offensive staff get an opportunity to, to uh, put things together. I mean, you know, we always think, okay, so he signed, now Nick's up next. Like, do you think Nick's already wondering if the team has him in their long-term future? Can you pay two running backs? Of course you can pay two running backs. <laughs> they, they pay receivers. Uh, they pay D linemen. They can pay whoever they want to pay. And it's Nick's job to make sure that they want to pay him. Thank you. All right, our next question is going to come from Mary Kay. Uh, hey, Coach, how you doing? I'm good, and yourself? Good, thanks. Um, it, it seems like the, the Ravens really worked to uh, improve their their run defense, bring in Campbell and Wolf and, and whatnot. So uh, just what are your thoughts on on their run defense as you head into this game? Well, they, they did that, and we also uh, worked hard to improve our, our run offense by bringing in some other guys on the offensive line, too. So... It's going to be, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get an opportunity to see uh, what they did, and they'll get an opportunity to see what we did as well. So uh, I feel good about, about what we've done. Thank you. All right, our next question is going to come from Jeff Shadell. Jeff Shadell, you can unmute your line. Hey, Stump, could you um, kind of elaborate on, on your role in forming the game plan? I think that's – kind of a fascinating part of the week that people don't know much about. Well, my role is to make sure these guys understand what the offensive linemen, tight ends, and wide receivers are trying to do in, in order to, uh, to get the most out of each run and for these guys to, to give it a, give it a, uh, a chance. Uh, the entire offensive staff, for the most part, we come up with ideas and, and suggestions, and then we put it together, and uh, on Sunday, uh, Coach Stefanski is going to call it. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Our next question is going to come from Marla Renar. Uh, yeah, Coach, I just wanted to know if you've gotten any feel for what kind of player Jed Wills is, at least maybe in the running game. Um, you know, we're just all we're all kind of curious to see how he performs. So am I. I mean, I know how I know how he performed at Alabama, but this is a different level. Uh, this is the NFL. We expect he'll do some of the same things that he did at Alabama, so we feel good, but we won't know until it actually happens. Do you think it's an advantage that, you know, there's not going to be any fans there for him? Uh, well, one thing about him, he's accustomed to, to seeing a lot of fans, so uh, that, that's not going to bother him each way. Either way, I think he, he would, he would, he would, he's understand, he understand what he has to do and, and the guys that he's going to be going up against. Uh, but I think the greatest thing for, for him is that uh, he's had Coach Callahan and Coach uh, Peters as his coach, and, and uh, he understands what, what type of business this is going to be. Thanks. All right, our next question is going to come from Scott. Hey, Stump, how um... – you know, now we're at week one and you have Kareem for the whole season with Nick as opposed to last year where he wasn't there until the second half. So 
like, how do you think Kareem's role can expand from where it was a year ago in that second half of the season? Well, we also have Kareem back healthy. He wasn't healthy when, when he played uh, for us last year. He had to go have surgery, and then he came back and he played. So uh, I, I think just those guys, they have to give it everything that they have on every play. Uh, they don't have to save anything because they have one another. So I, I feel good about that. Kareem understands that. And we think we're going to run the ball a little more than we did last year. Minnesota was right up there with the, in the top four in terms of the amount of rushes they had uh, a game. So we feel good about that. Thank you. Yo, Ryder, you can ask your question. Hey, Stump, I um, want to ask you about Dernis Johnson. All the focus is on the, the two big guys in front of him. But uh, what have you seen from him, and, and what type of a contribution uh, do you feel he could make uh, for you this year? Well, I think Dernis can do whatever we need him to do. Uh, last year, he returned punts. He returned kickoffs. He played some running back. Uh, on the limited amount of opportunities that he had, he was successful in all of those roles. And if you're going to be – the, the number three guy, you have to be a core special teams guy. And when given the opportunity to perform on offense, uh, you have to be able to uh, not let us think we have to take a step back. So that's the type of guy Dearness is.